day guys, Jilly Cube on an absolutely torrential raining for quite a long time at the moment so I was waiting for the rain to ease off but it doesn't look as though it's going to ease off and I want to paint so I hopefully you can hear me over the rain um, I will try and edit it out if at all possible but here goes. So today I was going to do a um, jug. I'm going to do a jug ring pours um, over the canvas. I would like to first, I'm using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics and the uh, clear glue PVA 70% uh, glue 30% warm water pre-mixed. I have the pouring recipe and suppliers underneath this video so please have a look underneath there it has beginners videos um, yeah all the information you'll need if you're only just starting pouring I might turn that this way so I've got my nice giant push pins underneath so it gives me a nice flat surface I'm just going to tip some of this around the very edges so when I do my um, jug pour I don't have to stretch it out to the edges it just um, sees that they've got a bit of paint over I mean it might well have plenty to go over the edges but just just doing this just showing you the options sometimes I don't do this and sometimes I do so it's just showing you the options that you've got if you're worried about covering your edges with your when you tilt your pouring paint Yes, absolutely torrential. So from fires in Australia, we go to basically flooding. It's one extreme to the other. But, you know, I think most countries are the same. You either have uh, extreme flooding or fires. You know, probably not as bad as, as some. But anyway, it's all good. You have to just take it in your stride and hopefully stay safe. First of all, I want to start with a darker, I'll go with the um, phalo blue, so probably be the last colour to come out because it was the first I put in. So that's the phalo blue. This is a um, skin tone that I made up myself out of just white and adding a little bit of orange to it. Ooh, okay. I'm not usually scared of thunder and lightning whatsoever, but I didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> so I might have to um, see how it goes. Holy dooly. So that was the orange and this is chocolate. my goodness it's really um, absolutely torrential so this is the kind of rain that will really flood properties and we're up on a mountain so we're pretty good that we won't actually have flooding come in the house but when you're on a mountain there's always that worry of subsidence of the land because so much rain so that's not a very nice thing to look forward to is a bright orange mega jug pour oh bright bright yellow should I say now bright orange oh my goodness maybe I'm getting a little bit stressed <laughs> with this rain well it, it's not actually the rain it's um, when the thunder claps right above your head um, I mean I'm inside and I feel safe I don't like to get scared of nature, but yeah, it can be a fierce beast, a fierce beast. Okie doke. I may do one other little jug. I'm not sure whether I'll need it, but I just want to add some bright colors in this with the straight up with the uh, yellow 
and the orange. I'll add the skin tone. It's a bit of a bland colour, but in between the other colours, it'll come up very nice. Um, a nice big chunk of white, which I might add to that one too. Just sunk now. <laughs> sinking, sinking. Just use the last of it. Try not to waste any. I think that'll be about it. I'll move the colours out of the way. So keep try to keep your things that you can tip over with elbows and things out of the way so you don't go and um, have a great big mess on your table. So, so, what would you do? So I'm gonna, gonna start off with a um, basically the circles if I can. So, the, oh, it's a big jug. Maybe I don't need the two jugs. I might have to save the other one for another pour. Kind of coming out and I don't know what's going on here. Ah, shouldn't have stopped. That's silly jilly. Okay, try again. Yeah, probably easier working with a few smaller jugs, but or probably not as full as I had them, had this one. But you live and learn. Oh, and I'm still learning, so there you go. Might be good to do two of these circles instead of trying to do one great big one. I'm trying to, I have added two drops of silicon to all of this paint my Helmar silica and I'm trying to I want I do want cells to come up so it kind of looks like a, a 3d effect in it so yeah it's just gently doing circular motions because if you do it too fiercely and too quick I find that the paint muddies up and because I did add a bit of brown that was probably not a good idea on my behalf I wasn't I just used up that bit of brown and I probably shouldn't have because it could make the rest of the colors go muddy because I'm waving it about so it kind of mixes but we'll go with the flow and um, just another little experiment I wanted to try. I might try and move this out a bit more. So it's obviously going to the centre. So I'll try and do a, a tunnel out of it. <laughs> wow, that rain is fierce. We've already had way, way, filled all our water tanks up, filled all the dams up on acreages. Uh, given farmers lots of much needed uh, reprieve from the droughts they've suffered so you know it is a good thing in one way for sure I'm going to try going back in over here while well, I've got some of the orange again I think this may be more than enough I did that other jug and I'm, I don't think I'll be using it on this particular piece, but that's all right. It's all good. So, mega jug pour. <laughs> A ring pour. So, let's just do some gentle tilting around the joint. As usual, I want to thank you guys so much because I've reached my... 40,000 subscribers and I am absolutely amazed and can't just can't believe it really because who'd have thought you know a woman teaching um, acrylic pouring techniques that it would even be a thing 
so I'm just happy, I'm very happy of course to be doing this and teaching and you know from what you all write to me you all get some help out of it and some laughs so I'm happy with that and I share my good as well as my bad I don't want to just share all gorgeous pores because it puts too much high expectations on some people to you know that oh can't share my um, art because their theirs always looks so gorgeous but we as artists all of us even though some artists maybe don't like to admit that they have bad paws on bad days I think they um, you know should show all the good ones but I absolutely believe you should show the bad along with the good oh look at that oh love it love it I mean that kind of look even without putting any heat to it and bringing any cells up do actually sell uh, quite easy when you're trying to sell your art people just get uh, mesmerized by looking at that you know it's just mesmerizing looking at it and no matter how many times I do it I still can come in here and just look and see what I can see in things and enjoy it well there you go that magenta or whatever it was I'm not sure if it was magenta or yeah it must have been I added some bits and bobs to it um, that's yeah disappeared up this end but I don't know whether I want it to disappear but it doesn't really match anything that I've got going on the canvas so it really does need to disappear it's just that I like this bit here so I don't really want to lose too much of that so I'll try and dodge my way it's like that machine that I played as a kid and oh, I've played it as an adult too the um, pinball machine where you're holding onto the machine and trying to rock it for the ball to go in the holes that you want it to go in this is what this reminds me of when you're tilting your painting I'm sure some people can relate to that <laughs> I remember playing the uh, pinball machine as a youngster in a fish and chip shop that used to go into um, in Birmingham in England where I was born and brought up I uh, came to Australia oh, over 35 years ago now never regret it for one moment absolutely love Australia it's given me so many opportunities in life that I don't believe I would have had if I'd have stayed in the UK coming from and I was a low-income family my parents were loving and kind and helped us in every single way and we weren't blessed with lots of money but we were absolutely blessed with lots of love I thank every day I thank for ha being thankful for having such wonderful supportive parents that I had and you know hope and try my best for our kids but my parents were supportive but they never gave anything for free to to us kids you had to work for everything and I believe in that makes you respect yourself and it makes you respect every penny you earn Wowzers, I like it. I really like that. What do you think, guys? Tell me, tell me. I will do a close up. Um, I will do a close up, and I'm not sure whether I should or should not. I'm sure you're going to yell at me. Should I? put the heat on it just my little heat gun I just wanna I know that when you just bring up a few cells it looks like a 3d effect so I am just going to try it so if you wanted to do this particular look with that lovely mesmerizing patterning stop right now don't look any further but I just want to uh, do the experiment to see if the heat bringing up a few cells they really do look like they're 3d floating let's give it a go let's give it a go flow try it okay I've got my little wonder wand I did drop it the other day and I 
thought oh my goodness I've broken it but it's still going but I think I better buy another one to have as a backup somebody suggested that I put the cord around my neck and you can handle it but I mean it's it's really no trouble to hold it like this and hold the wire no biggie so okay the heat wand is slower heat than obviously adding butane because butane's instant heat but it certainly gives you really gorgeous cells just the same just at a slower rate so I only want to do little areas so we just see nothing may happen but oh my god love that just want to do just takes a little bit longer to heat the paint but they do come up for sure and I love it it's less dangerous no chance of a fire just a few she said Okay. Oh my gosh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I thought just a few would come up. It's kind of gone a wall, a wall wall. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it to do its thing. Big mistake. I should not have left. I should not have heated. I should have let the little cells come up, but there you go it actually does look nice with the cells with those um okay i've overpowered it with cells me bad me bad there you go people thank you for joining me always a surprise for you and for me <laughs> never as i set out to do usually oh gosh 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 so I'll let it to dry then I'll take some photos and I'll add it, the photos to the end of this video uh, if anybody wants to see dry pieces if you go to my acrylic art by Jilly Cube art page um, just let me know that you're there and you want to see a particular piece fully dry um, if it's recent piece that I haven't sold I usually take all the photos before they go so I can um, you can see them there thanks for joining me Bye for now, until next time.